Hi Church, my name is Matthew and I'm part of Audacious Central Campus. I'm excited to bring you this daily devotional today, continuing on the series of relationships and lessons on those in the Bible. So today I've taken inspiration from the story of Ruth and her unlikely friendship with her stepmom, Naomi. Now, Naomi's story in the Bible doesn't really start off amazing. Uh, there was a famine, so she had to move. Uh, her, her husband and their two sons moved from Bethlehem to the country of Moab. Next, the Bible says that her husband died. Uh, and then 10 years later, her sons also died. Thankfully, they were married. Um, so now Naomi was left in a country that she wasn't from. She was left with no blood relatives and just two stepdaughters, uh, one of which was Ruth. Now, the friendship between Ruth and Naomi is amazing. And I do encourage you that in your free time this week, uh, just give the book of Ruth a quick read. Uh, have a look at it. It's only four chapters long uh, and has some amazing examples of how God can show his faithfulness even in dire situations. And now one verse as I was reading this through for this devotion uh, really did stick out to me uh, and that was Ruth 1 16 and it goes I'm reading from the uh, NIV version but Ruth replied do not urge me to leave you or turn back from you where you go I will go and where you stay I will stay your people will be my people and your God, my God. Now this is the words of a woman that has just lost her husband. She's speaking to another widow uh, in Naomi and saying, I'm not leaving you. I'm not abandoning you. You've cared for me. Where you're going, I'm going. Uh, Naomi did urge Ruth to go back to her family, which she could have done. She could have left, gone back to her own family, remarried, because she was still young, uh, but she didn't. Instead, she decided to show loyalty to Naomi and as we do read through the book of Ruth, uh, you see that God works amazing things in both of their lives. Uh, so I just encourage you over the next couple of days, guys uh, and girls, just to read Ruth, give it a look over and uh, just think yourself how situations where you've struggled. Uh, are we doing like Ruth did, loving and caring for people that have been through the same issues as us uh, when they don't have anybody else? That being said, I'd just like to say a prayer for us all today. So, Father God, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you so much for the messages that can be dealt from it, Lord. Lord, we pray in your mighty name that throughout this week, throughout the day that everybody is having, that they can just show gleaming examples of your love in everyday aspects of their lives. We pray this in your holy name, all glory and honour to you. Amen. Thanks a lot, church. I hope you have a great day, wherever you are. And I'll see you soon.